Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, we're back, but with another mukbang. Cause why not? And we love food. So say hi. hi. <laughs> we're about to eat a bunch of Taco Bell because Taco Bell is life sometimes. Unless they try to poison you. Yeah. That's a story I'll get into. <laughs> um, so we just bought like a ton of food. <laughs> just like to eat and hopefully you know we could eat it all if not then we'll save it for later but we'll feed it to nakoda <laughs> we'll feed it to her fiance she just got the chalupa box because she's never had it before and she's like oh I... it's huge like one even I it didn't... looks like the hot dogs that i make at, uh, well i don't make but i order from right. sonic I don't even know what to start with, to be honest, because it's like, it's gonna be honestly hard to eat with one hand to start, but like, I don't even know what to eat. I'm eating this. Mm. This usually comes with lettuce and tomato, but I don't do like that, lettuce so. really, unless it's in, you know, a salad. And their tomatoes burn me, so. Really? Ooh. When I worked there, um, when I moved it, it would burn my arms. Because there's so much acidic in it. Oh. Well, it could just be their brand of tomatoes. Quite possible. Don't mind me. I'm trying to get my mild sauce onto my Doritos Locos taco. I love their Doritos tacos. Like, whoever thought of the idea to put a nacho cheese version shell into the world is amazing. They can't do it right when they're in the store. Because I bought them. And they're like Taco Bell brand too. Hmm. Sometimes I think. Um, but there's also non-Taco Bell brands. I bought them and they're disgusting store bought. But they do it right in store. At least. I just have a Baja freezing. But I have that caramel apple thing. You know what would be good in here? Hmm. Vodka. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> That would be amazing. Um, next time. Next time. <laughs> next time. We don't have vodka right now. But yeah, I got that caramel apple thing. And I've had it before, but Hannah's never tried it before. So I'm going to make her try it. Mm -hmm. And she's going to love it because it's amazing. <laughs> I really love it, though. It's like you don't expect it to taste that good. I mean, if you've ever had those caramel apple lollipops, you know what they, you know what they taste like. But it actually tastes like an apple, and it's quite shocking. We mm -hmm. were going to try on wedding dresses, but my pilot lights out, so we have to wait. Yep, because we have to be here all day. Well, one to like four or five, so pretty much all day. I don't know why they do that, though. Because if you think about it, most people work eight to five. I don't know why I don't work. Yeah, but most companies do that time frame. It's her handyman. It's I know. It's not a company. It's just her friend. Oh, I know. But most, most like, plumbers and electricians and stuff do that time frame of, like, oh, we'll be here between this and this time, and it's always during your work hours. It's like, how, am I supposed to take off work for your ass? Oh! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've been on a scary movie binge. Oh, yeah. We're making Nakoda watch ones he hasn't seen yet. What did we watch the other night? Mm, the first night we watched The Conjuring. Which I hadn't seen before either. I've seen the second and the other series that go along with it. And but that one I hadn't. Last night we watched As Above, So Below. Mm. Gave me nightmares all night. Did it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I feel like... Oh. oh me. We'll okay, sorry about that. We had to step away for a minute because... um. The um, handyman that we were talking about um, came to start working on the heater. Um, so we took a little break to get that hopefully situated. And then he had to leave um, to go buy some batteries. So we're videoing again for a little mm -hmm. while. I'm just eating cinnamon twists. Mm. See, I like cinnamon twists, but I like cinnamons better. Like, just because they have the icing in the middle. Mm. When they melt in your mouth. Ugh. I forgot those. I know. I thought about it after, and I was like, dang it. Mm. 
country. You hear vroom, vroom all the time. Mm. These are good, but like some of them are really soggy and some of them have nothing on them. I don't think I've ever had them. Not the dollar cravings menu ones? No. I've had the, the like full on layered ones. I've never had them with the sauce. It's pretty really good sauce. I enjoy it. Mm. I wish there was more cheese. I do too. That's what I was saying. It's like they never put enough stuff for the amount of chips that they put in it. You get chips that just have nothing on them. And then chips that are like stockpiled. Mm hmm you kind of have to like drag it around so you get it on everything. Mm-hmm. I made the right decision today. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty happy with it. I was so hungry. Tomorrow we're gonna do a candy video on my channel. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited. I wish we could have done it today though. Because I don't know what we're going to do for your video tonight. Oh, nail polish, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to do a nail polish video later on her channel. And I'll link her channel down below so you can easily find it. Not like you guys had a problem finding it before. <laughs> no. Not really. <laughs> Everybody's I mean. found me now. Mm-hmm. I think they have watched me too. Probably, because I linked you, mm -hmm. and she she um, found mine, so yeah. Hi. <laughs> we miss you. <laughs> it's been a while. You need to come back to California, <laughs> at least for a, a trip. Mm. I don't understand how people like watching people eat. It doesn't do make it. sense to me, but I love eating, so I I'll do. totally do it. <laughs> I sit and watch people eat all. <laughs> it's more. I think it's more about what they're talking about sometimes. Oh, no, I'm interested in what they're eating. Mm. Sometimes they like try out stuff that you haven't had. I guess that makes sense. Mm. These are so good. Me and Sarah <clears throat> are considering doing the 10,000 calorie challenge. Oh. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more money for that because, you know, 10,000 calories is a lot of calories. If you like, We might do it down. while we're in Reno. We might do it while we're in Reno. Because that'll yep. be really easy. Because mm -hmm. there's the buffets. Oh. There's a uh, poke bowl. There's, mm. oh, there's this pizza place. And... We're just going to have a great time. <laughs> and that's going to be, what, November, Dece December, right? It was December. Yeah, mid-December. So it's like in between... The things that are going on in December, mm -hmm. like in between the holidays and stuff. And then we got a beach trip coming up in March. Mm, I'm so excited to do things. <laughs> I'm so excited to be able to like slowly start walking more so I can, you know, get back to my life. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. This is delicious food. It's making me very happy. With my life. I like pre sauce this. We like, we're waiting for the, the handyman to work on the pilot light. So while we were taking a break from the filming, I was saucing up my burrito so I don't have to do it on camera. Because it's really hard to, to hold a camera and do things with your other hand at the same, oh, excuse me, at the same time. Uh, Oh, and those mini chicken quesadillas. I've got, I've got two, and she's got two because they're so freaking good. Like, and they're spicy. That's the best part, I think. I love that sauce. <laughs> that is so spicy. It's more mm -hmm. spicy than usual. Is it? Mm -hmm. mm. It's been a minute. Sometimes they make them like the caramel apple thing. I tried it today. It tasted different than it's tasted before. It's like more apple-y. It's like an actual bite out of an apple versus like, just like that sweet candy type version. So, maybe they're doing things differently. Changing their recipes. 
Was it good? Very spicy. But good? Mm -hmm. Okay. From those warheads, though, the top okay. of the mouth has, like, a sore. Oh, yeah, we had some warheads, some of those warheads that I was talking about that we were supposed to try on the video that we forgot about, but they're pretty good. She can't eat half of them anyway, so I tried the ones she couldn't have, and then one of each of the other ones, and then she had the rest of them. Okay, she's trying this caramel apple. I've had a lot of it already. Ugh, it's so strong, right? It's pretty good, though. It's just like a bite out of an apple. And then there's the caramel taste. Ugh. I love it. I like the watermelon one better. They had the seeds in it. Like not, oh, no, no, no. They, not seeds, but they were like candy seeds mm. at the bottom. They're so good. See, the reason I don't like watermelon is mostly for the seeds. I don't like the crunch of it either. It's just like a weird texture. Mm. When me and Amanda were in uh, San Francisco, we got bubble tea in Chinatown. Mm. And um, I ordered the watermelon one, and they just took, like, half a watermelon and blended it down. Wow. It was too sweet, though, by the end of it. Yeah. That one that we had in Fresno was really good. That we'll rainbow-like one. We'll have to go again. Yeah, we'll have to go again. We'll have to do it's a the first tea, tea around Fresno. No, because it's, like, the first tea I've ever liked. <laughs> ever. And I don't, I don't like tea. Like, I don't like coffee. I don't like tea. Except for spilling it. I love spilling tea. It's quite great. <laughs> I prefer to sip it. <laughs> Slowly duel it out. <laughs> oh, that drink is amazing. I wish I had that every day. And honestly, for me, outranks Baja Blast, which is kind of hard to do because it's my favorite drink ever. I'm going to leave this for Nakoda. Too spicy for me. Mm. This burrito is really good, too. It's got that crunch because of the Fritos. I'm enjoying it. It's like all of this stuff except for her Chalupa box and the Doritos Locos Taco, I think, was a, on the cravings menu. So like the beefy Frito burrito or something like that. And even the, the box was only $5. Mm -hmm. It came with a drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it, and then the freezies. I mean, obviously they were like normal price because it wasn't happy hour, unfortunately. But it's not the end of the world. It only costs like twenty bucks for all this, and that's pretty good for two people. If you think about it, it's like usually ten dollars for a meal, anyway. Mm -hmm. So, and we got like way more than one meal's worth, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm really happy. Food is my comfort. I'm excited for a Wingstop mukbang. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a Wingstop mukbang where we uh, get... She's, I think, going to get the original, like, the mild... Oh, that's a different thing. Oh, okay. Not just a Wingstop. Okay. Well, we're going to do a wing, uh, a Wingstop mukbang just to, like, eat Wingstop because we love Wingstop. But we're also going to do a video where we... um. Try out all the wings from different places. Yeah, she's just going to get, like, the original version, and I'm going to get, like, the barbecue version. And then maybe get some boneless and some boned she's so we can try it. She's going to do boneless, and I'm going to do boned. I was thinking we, that we should both I get... I don't like boneless. You don't like at all? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, then we'll do it like that. But I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, we won't know which is which. We'll have somebody else, like, put them on plates that aren't titled. And we'll rate them on a scale from like 1 to 10 mm -hmm. and try to figure out which one it is without knowing. Sarah has an amazing series plan for you guys. Which one? The one with me. Which one? <laughs> we have like six maybe or more. Well, the food one. With the places that okay. I've never been. Yes. Okay. So we are going to go to places that she's never been to that I've been to. And we're also going to do places that neither of us have been to. And it, I mean, it can be food, it can be drink, it can be just cool places that she's never been to. It can be anything. It doesn't have to just be food. And um, on my channel, we're going to do mixed drinks. We're gonna, I have this whole Pinterest board mm -hmm. shared with Sarah of just mixed drinks. Mm -hmm. And since mine is a little bit 
hers is more PG than mm. mine is already. So well, I swear a lot, which is I'm trying to get kick it mm -hmm. because it's it's really not good. And it's like I don't need to, especially I if I'm gonna like be around kids in the future. Less PG than. Well, at least so far, yeah. I haven't done any of the scary stuff with you guys yet, so. <laughs> we but, did put up on my channel, uh, EVP, not an EVP, a spirit box section. Uh -huh. It was an app, but a lot of the things that it was saying did make sense. And were really, like, weird. You'll have to watch it to understand. And we just, like, we didn't know if it was, like, really real or not we couldn't tell some of the time but some of the time it was like giving pretty clear answers and yeah, so we're like, like nakoda it didn't like every time nakoda got close to it it would light up and then we're like well do you not like him and it's like man it says man and then it said <laughs> falls and like maybe five minutes later and i think we caught it on camera too mm -hmm. he fell and dropped his phone and his keys and everything and it like and her. on top of to, to her and it like hit his shin and so, <laughs> I but think it was pretty accurate. I think I a different video. If you want me to put that one up, I will. Totally. Yeah, that would be cool. And I'm going to, um, I have a bunch of, um, like, little videos that I filmed that I'm going to put together. It's just, some of them have, like, things where I was just rambling. So, I'm trying to cut, them, cut those parts out and edit it first um, before I upload it. That's why I didn't upload one yet. Um, but I have a bunch of videos that I took also from there. And I also got some of the spirit box on recording. Um, but I don't think I'm going to post that just because it's the exact same footage as the one she has. Just a different camera. I think you have the one where he fell down though. I might have the one where he fell. So I will, if I have that, I will post it for you guys. So that way you can kind of get the whole scenario of what went down. <laughs> We're going to do the 3 a.m. challenge. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. And this is a video that we're all going to post because it's just like, it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to save that for my 31st. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. Because otherwise it's just going to be another video of me sitting down and telling a story. True. But um, we are going to have some fun that mm -hmm. night. We're going to be up. Probably, we're going to go, obviously, at 3, but we're probably going to stay, at, like, past 3. It depends on how cold it is and how bundled we are. We also have to drive to my mom's house. Yeah, and... like, four hours away. Oh, okay. I'm dropping stuff. There's one right there, too. Mm -hmm. But, um, it also depends on, um, if we're getting anything. Because, I mean, mm -hmm. who wants to record for, what, three hours? If we're not going to get anything. And so. I think he's back. Alright. Well. I think this mukbang is pretty decently. Done. Done. Yeah. We got all the stuff. We've tried everything. Yeah. She's got the. She's had the mini chicken quesadillas. And she had this thing. Yeah. And I had the burrito. Plus. I've had the chicken quesadillas before. So it's not like we're trying anything new. Mm -hmm. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and to follow Hannah on her channel and watch all of her videos because we both do videos together a lot and we enjoy doing them and I hope that you guys enjoy watching them. Thank you. Bye. Bye.